Hi everyone, welcome to Learning Ballet with Claudia. Today we're going to learn some exercises to help you build your extensions. Uh, we're going to need your yoga band and your yoga mat. Now before we start, I want to talk about the balance that we need to have between your flexibility and strength for those legs to go up. Um, so what happens is, if we have too much strength and we don't have enough flexibility, it is really hard for your leg to go into that full motion. But on the other hand, if we have too much flexibility but we don't have enough strength, we cannot hold the legs. So these exercises will be the, uh, designed to work on those two things, to work on your strength and to work on your flexibility at the same time. So we're going to do eight grand batmans up to 90 degrees. 90 degrees and up, and then we're going to do the full motion, and then we're going to hold eight counts, and then we're going to stretch. So let's get started. So you're going to lay down your back, arms by your side. In here again, we're doing your first position to keep on working on that turnout. So let's just start. A grab at man de van, watching for your hips to keep your hips square. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three. Four, only up to nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Now you're gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping that turn up like seven, eight. Full motion and one, two. We can resist. Three, four, five. Keeping the turn up. Six, seven. Eight. Now we're going to hold the leg there, turn out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab the leg and stretch. One, keeping the turn out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, release eight. Or the leg. One, up to nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're not. One, two, stretching both knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Full motion. One, two. We can resist. Keeping the turn out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold the leg. One, stretching both knees. Two, three, four, five. Keeping the turn out. Six, seven. Eight, grab the leg and stretch. One, keeping the turn out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do the same to the side. So for this one, we're going to do that first position. We want to have your abdominals engaged, seat muscles engaged, and we can actually put this arm in front, your left arm in front, the other one to the side. Ready? Go up to 90. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Full motion. You will see that your legs are working hard. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In here, you can stretch your leg with your opposite arm. So you will do that stretch and then down. Now we're going to switch with the other leg. So remember, try to keep that first position. One up to nine. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, now you're not. One, two, three, four, stretch both feet. Five, six, seven, eight, full motion, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. I know you're 
you're going to stretch with that opposite arm. And then down. Now to the back. We are going to sit down. Not sit down, sorry. You're going to place your knees. And we're going to extend. We're going to start with the left leg. And here, if you cannot reach that full motion, it's just to have that counted about half and then all the way. Okay? We're going to do just half movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Full motion. One, two, up to 90 degrees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you will hold it up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We repeat with the other leg. Ready? Go. One, two, half, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From half and up. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch those knees. Six, seven, eight. Full motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, guys. Now, for this one, we're going to stretch your back and hold a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, so if, if you need something to help you when you're stretching the legs the van, when you're laying down um, on the mat, um, you can use the third van to help you. So I'll show you that in here, for example, I folded my third van in the half, then I place it, I place it in here on my foot, and then I went lay it down on my back. And then I pull using my hand so it's easier than grabbing the leg. If you have your leg all the way up to your nose, then it's okay. But if you don't, it's okay. By doing these stretches every day, you will get them. So you can actually help you using the third band first. First one, you will place it on your arch. And then after, if you want more pull, you can actually place it probably by your calf or your ankle bone. Then that's the one, you can do that one with the other leg. Now, as a bone, you're going to have it in half, and then you're going to make, in here you're going to open it, you're going to place your foot, in here again with your arch, and then from there, you're going to place that, uh, whoop, am I falling? That leg. Yeah, you're going to use the help with this hand and then this one in front. And then from there, you can see that you will stretch. So again, by doing this every day, you will get better. Don't worry. And you can use the help. After that, you can use your own hand and do that same stretch. So um, the next exercise that we can do um, is we want to practice those developers and we want to watch for the lines. So we're going to practice uh, lay down on the mat, developer the bar, uh, developer a la seconde, and developer derrière. So it's really simple. Again, we're going to do everything turn out. So we need to make sure that uh, that underneath leg is turned out. We're going to place both arms to the side. And we're going to go up to retire one and two. Now from here, we want to keep the knee to the side and just move that heel forward three and four as high as you can. Hold five, keep it in the turn out six, down seven and eight. I'll repeat one more time. And up to retire one and two. Pushing the knee to the side and not moving the knee front. Keeping the turn now, going through that attitude about three and four, hold five and six, down seven and eight. 
So you will do this one eight times. You will repeat that eight times. Then you will continue with the left leg. And then you're going to do the same thing to the side. In here again, we're going to have both legs turn now. So I'm trying to have my first position. So watch that we don't go back to pattern. First position in here. And you are actually working on that turn now as well. So in here, you're going to shake you already did one and two, so keeping that turn up now. Without going up with the hip, you're going to lift up the knee at your maximum three and four, and then from there, that's the principle of that develop it to the side. You're going to move the lower leg part of your leg five and six, and then from there down seven, keeping the turn up both legs eight. And again, you're going to go up to ready there. Squeezing your seat muscles, one and two. So you're going to bring your thigh up as much as you can, three and four. And then you're going to move the lower part of your leg, five and six. And then down, seven and eight. Again, you're going to repeat this one eight times. And then we're going to proceed back. Now back, we're going to modify a little bit. Because we're going to start this one with that line of that attitude. So again, we're here to the back, and in here I'm going to start with the left leg, but in here I'm going to go from here up to the attitude with the thigh up as much as I can. One and two, hold three, four, now stretch your knee, five, six, and then seven and eight, and then you can bend again, and then up to ready day, and then attitude one and two. And then hold three, four, stretch the leg, five, six, down seven, and eight. In this one, we're really working on that long for that development here. One and two, thigh up, thigh up, hold three, four, stretch the leg, five, six, down seven, and eight. So in this one, you actually can start with the leg straight and then go up to that attitude and then stretch. Or you can start as I did the second one. From here you go up to ready there. Then from there attitude, I like, I like this one better. Thigh up, stretch your leg, and then down. You will feel that after this one you need to really stretch, stretch your back. And it will actually have that lovely line into that developer on our best because as a teacher, when we are actually practice, uh, practicing uh, those developers that we are with my students, what we sometimes see is that from here, we go with the knee down and we don't want that, right? We want to keep the knee to the side to that right and bring that thigh up and then we extend the lower leg to half that line. Develop it to the side, same thing. When we are in retire, we want to lift that thigh up as much as we can and then we move just the lower leg, lower part of your leg, and then increase. That will help you to increase that extension to the side. Devon, same thing. Well, we are on that right here. We want to not go with the knee front. We want to push that knee to the side, leading with that heel forward, going through that attitude line, and then extend the leg. So, I hope you guys um, like this exercise. This one on the floor is really, really, really effective. Now, if you wonder, how can I improve my lines of my attitude, divan and the rear for those attitudes, which it makes sense, that question, easy. From here, you will stand up, and then you will place your leg on attitude, and I have my underneath leg turn now, and that working leg turn now, and then pushing the knee to the side. This stretch will really help you from this ready day to have that attitude flat and then to extend into that developing. Now, the rear, same thing. You just bring that leg in attitude, but you gotta cross it in here. You gotta go completely front, and then from there, you're going to cross that leg. So your thigh will be completely placed at the bar and this will be the position. So you will do that attitude here with this position and your knee and your foot will be on one line with the bar. 
From there you can do some plies and stretch and that will help you to the line when you do that retire to bring up the thigh. This is another exercise and then you can stretch your leg there. We We're going to use the third one with um, the second exercise. So I'm going to show you how to place the third band um, at the board. So you're going to have one end and you're going to place that end on the other end. You're going to place it on top of the board and you will actually see like a U, a letter U. Now you're going to grab that bottom and then roll it and then you can roll it. So we're going to this exercise, we're going to apply resistance to the leg. So as much as you roll that third band, more resistance you will get, okay? So, so this is the way that you are going to place that third band for our second exercise. As you can see, uh, for this second exercise, I roll my third band uh, several times so that way you will apply, apply more resistance. So I'm going to actually put my foot there and then I'm going to cross it with my right leg divand and we want to watch that we are square. So you can place this arm on your shoulder or, or by your side and we're going to press down eight times. One, two, three, with the abdominals engaged, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight more. One, two, three, four, engaging and lifting up, five, six, seven, eight, and eight more. One, two, three, four, five, keeping the turn out, six, seven, eight. Now I'm doing that right leg the band. I'm going to change to the side. So again, I'm diagonal. So that working leg will be in line with your supporting leg. And one, two, this will work your inner thighs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to move to the back. So we're going to rotate that underneath leg. Now in here, this exercise is you can do it. You can stretch your feet. You can stretch your foot or you can do it flex. You're going to place one arm on your shoulder and one, two, try to avoid movement on the back. Lift up three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we will change and you, we will do the same thing. So eight repetitions three times with your left leg and I'm going to show you the direction. So you again place the foot. You can do it flex or you can do it, uh, you can stretch your feet. So that will be the band making sure that both hips are square. You will be diagonally. So this one will be the side and then this one will be the back and that will be our second exercise. This exercise is one of my favorites and reminds me when I was studying back in Cuba. So we used to do this every day and we used to have really really high and good extensions. So we're going to place the leg Devon and and we want to watch that that underneath leg is turned out. The working leg is turned out and to have that alignment and both hips are square. Now we're going to stretch uh, your feet and we're going to press eight counts, the bar 
with your leg. Okay, so let's do it together. One, press the bar. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to try to do the opposite and lift the leg off to the bar. Even though if the leg doesn't lift the bar, if you keep on doing this exercise, you will get to that point that you will be able to lift up the leg. And we're going to go up. One, two. Even though my leg is not lifting the bar, I'm working on those muscles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to press again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go up. One, two. Up the leg three, even though it doesn't lift the bar, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more time, press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and leg up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we repeat this eight times pressing, eight times lifting the leg up, and we're going to do that three times. We're going to move and do the same to the side. In here, we're going to watch that we have, so your hips are square, you have that rotation in that underneath foot, and in here, to work on that turn as well, we want to actually rotate your leg as well. So when you're pressing the leg, towards the board and then lifting, trying to make sure that you don't go up with the hip, that you have your tailbone down and have that level on your hip. So we're going to do it one more time. In here I'm thinking as well to have that, to show the sole of the shoe to work on that turn out. So we're going to press one, press two, press the ball, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you're going to try to lift the leg, one. You will see that your hip flexor is working too. Three, try to lift the leg, four, even if it doesn't move, five, six, seven, eight, and you press again, you can do flex this time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and leg up, one, two, even though it doesn't move, three, four, you're working really hard, five, six, seven, eight, and press one more time, one, press the bar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. And you're going to notice that you're working on those muscles, the underneath muscles, the hip flexor. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this exercise, we did it the bar and a la second. We're going to do it there here as well. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do it there here. You're going to rotate that underneath leg and just you're going to place that leg at the board. Now in here, we want to actually try to lift up from both hips. You can place your arm to second position. Stretch the back knee. Stretch that underneath leg and watch for down alignment. Watch that we don't sickle in that foot. And again, you're going to press eight counts towards the board there and try to lift the leg after. And you're going to repeat this one three This exercise will target specifically your developé a la seconde. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on first position in front of the bar and we're going to do our retire transferring the weight with your right leg. And from there you want to actually go up with the knee and try to keep your hips on level. So you're going to try to have the hips on level and go one, two, three, four, and then up to retigue, down to retigue, five, six, seven, and eight, and go up the knee, one, two, three, four, down five, six, seven, and eight, you would repeat eight, eight, that eight times, one, two, three, four, up to retigue, five, six, seven, and eight. So when you finish this one eight times, you will, this one will work on your hip flexor. And the hip flexor is the one that you will use to lift up the knee and lift up your thigh to do that on a second. So on a second, when you do the retire, you lift up your thigh 
And with that movement, this is just a small target, that movement, and then the only thing you need to do is just move the lower part of your leg. We're going to have other exercise that is similar to the one that we're doing with Retier. And you can alternate this one because this one will target that hip flexor and the underneath muscles. Remember that those extensions go up from those Devan and Alasacon using your underneath muscles, not your big muscles. Um, so um, with this one, you can alternate. After that one, you can do this one. But you don't want to do both of them the same day because you will actually feel really tired on your hip flexor so we want to make sure that you stretch your hip flexor that way we don't get injured but I'm going to do I'm going to do the other exercise so that way you know so we're going to do that right here one more time and we're going to lift up the knee one two then we're going to stretch the leg a little bit three four go back to right here five six and rest seven eight and again up the knee one Two, stretch the leg, three, four, and go back to Retire, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to repeat this one eight times as well. But remember, alternate. If you do the one with the Retire only, the knee up, you do that one day, and then the next day, you alternate and do the knee up, then you're going to move the lower part of your leg, go back to Retire, and then down. Now, um, we can actually uh, continue with some stretches. So you're going to do your stretch the band. You're going to actually take, you're going to place your hand underneath, and then you can do plie, and then you can stretch from there, plie, and stretch from there. You can actually hold, lift, put the arm on fifth position, so that way you can hold the leg there, and stretch the band. You can do that to the side as well. In here, trying to have that turn out, you can go the bum back in, stretch to the side, and you can do the same thing with your other leg. So underneath, and then plie, and then you stretch there. You can do it to the side as well. So remember, we want to work that strength and flexibility and find that balance so that way we can have those high extensions. You can do, uh, do as well to the back. And when I'm stretching the back, um, always wash your line. So always place that leg turn out and shape that attitude. And then from there you can actually go attitude first and then you can after stretch your knee and then you can proceed to the other side. Now, the next one that we're going to do is one of my favorites. I'm going to actually take off my ballet shoes and we're going to use the wall. I said I'm going to place my um, underneath leg turn out and I'm going to show you this one just with the right leg and the other leg I'm going to put it on the wall. Now, in here, I really want to watch for that um, alignment and I really want to watch in here that I have, that I don't have the hips up, that I have my hips square. Now, in here, what you want to do is you want to stretch. You will really feel, try to feel that your pelvis is going to touch the, the wall so you will really feel that stretch. Now the more you do this one, you will be able to have that underneath leg close to that wall over here and this, this leg in front as well. So ideally, what we can do is have this underneath leg touching the wall and then the other leg will be in front. Of course, I cannot do that one anymore, but I, I would like to show you, yeah? So you will have that underneath leg in here, touching the wall, and then the other leg will be in here. In here, you want to actually have that working leg turn out as well. You can repeat this one to the side as well. So as you can see, I'm far away from the wall, but ideally we want to do this as much close 
that underneath leg or foot as much close as we can to the wall. So we're going to do that one to the side. And again here I'm helping with the bar and you want to try to have that. Now going with the hip up or the bum back, we want to actually have that turn out. Again, one more time in here. The more you do this exercise, the better you will have that underneath leg close to that wall. And then for those bum chairs and arabes, what you want to do is you're going to have, again, that underneath leg turn out. You're going to go down and you're going to use that wall and you're going to stretch your leg. And then from there, you want to try to have your pelvis touching the wall and this will be a great stretch and this will be really good for your big jumps, for your conche, for your arabes. You will feel a stretch, a really good stretch over here and if you slowly go up, you can actually work on your arabes as well. So again, in here, you want to try to have your pelvis touching the wall and on this one is the opposite. The more, the, the more you have this foot close to the wall, the less stress you will have. This foot, the more this foot you will have it away from the wall, the more stress you will have. And then you can repeat this one with the other leg. So you do the same in front, you do the same side, and you alternate the leg to the rear. To be honest, this is one of my favorite stretches. And it's amazing how much you can improve your extensions with that stretch and the exercise that we did with the leg at the bar pressing down and lifting up. If you only do those two exercises every day, you will improve your extensions. Now, before we finish, um, I would like to talk about stretching. Um, in all my videos, I really encourage everyone to stretch. One, because we're going to avoid injuries. And second, is because in, in this case, we're going to work with that flexibility and strength at the same time. That way you can um, actually get those extensions uh, at the maximum of your possibilities. So I'm going to show you one stretch because we were actually targeting uh, the area of the hip flexor for those, for those developers, Alicicon. I'm going to show you one stretch um, that is really effective, effective for that area. So I learned actually this doing yoga. I love yoga, by the way. Um, so you're going to start with your right leg and then you're going to extend it to 90 degrees. And then from there, you're going to place both hands to the front. And then you want to try to stretch um, a little bit that back knee. So you're going to, instead of going back, you're going to move that pelvis forward. And then from there, I'm already uh, feeling that um, stretch of my hip flexor. And after you hold it there for a few counts, you're going to place both hands on your knee and then you're going to feel that stretch. You're going to hold it there for a few seconds. After you're going to place the hands again, then you're going to move your bum back and then go front and then you can do flex. Sorry, you don't sit down. And then you're going to feel a stretch on your inner thigh. And then you switch the leg, you place the left foot in front, both hands in front, and then from there, trying to have your pelvis forward, and you will already feel a stretch in your hip flexor. It's really important that we stretch the hip flexor, so that way we don't get injured. Then from there, I'm going to have both of my hands on top of my knee, I'm going to place them on my knee. Then I put my hands again on the mat. Then I'm going to stretch that left knee and then go flex and stretch. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Now, after this, you can do, your, you can stretch your quads, so you're going to have, you're going to bend your right knee, and then you can have your left leg straight, and you will feel a good stretch on your quads. You can hold there for one minute and 30 seconds. And after, you're going to do the same thing with the other leg. So you're going to bend the left knee, and then you go back, lay down on your back, and you're going to feel it really, that feels so good. Really good stretch in your quad. And you're going to hold her for one minute and 30 seconds. That's the ideal time. Every time you're stretching, that's the ideal time to hold the position without getting injured for stretches. And after that, you actually can do your three splits. Now, because we did that exercise at the, um, we did that exercise at the wall with that maximum stretch. You already stretch your splits, so you can do it on the floor. Again, one more time in here, I tell all my students to have that, um, front leg turn out. Now the line of the back leg is really important because that's how we're going to uh, show those solid shots. So it's really important that we have the rotation of both legs. So when you do the split, don't go in with the back leg, trying to have that leg turn out as in our best. And then for this one, you actually can put something, like a little stool, and then you can put that front leg in that little stool and do that split to the right, then after that, you're going to move and do, so if you have that right leg on the stool to the right, then center, you have that right leg to the stool. Then you move back and you have this front leg on the floor, but the other one is really stretching that hip flexor one more time, and then you can uh, switch. So I hope you like these exercises. If you do these exercises every day, believe me that you will improve your extensions, but it is really important to stretch. So bye-bye, and I cannot wait until I make the next video. Take care.